Welcome back guys to another GeoGuessr Tips video and today we will talk about Africa. Before we start I wanted to mention that I'm giving away GeoGuessr Pro subscription for one year every single month. You can enter by clicking that link in the description, maybe you will be the lucky winner. In this video I won't be covering the small islands like Canary Islands and Reunion, I will make a separate video about islands uh, like in a week or two. In Africa, as you can see, there are not too many countries covered by official Google Street View, but we will go through all of the countries that have official coverage, and I'll tell you how to tell those countries apart. So let's start with Tunisia. Tunisia is located right here. As you can see, in Tunisia, mostly only the, uh, the east coast is covered by official coverage. Let's have a look how it looks. In Tunisia, your Google car will have an antenna, so that's a big way to tell it apart from, for example, Jordan and UAE, where the cars will have no antenna. The license plates will be mostly black, and you will have a follow car, as you can see here. The follow car might look like this, it might look in a, either darker, or like a, it can be like a police follow car as well, but uh, most of the time there will be a follow car following you. The text that you will see around yourself will be mostly Arabic, but you can also see some French here and there on some posters, some signs, etc. The stop signs will look like this, with some Arabic and stop beneath. And here is another Tunisian location, which is outside a city. Uh, the road looks like this. Generally, you will have uh, white road lines. Uh, sometimes you will see some French style bollards as well. Your follow car can sometimes be in front of you as well, but this time it's some somewhere very far away, so we can't see it properly. Also in Tunisia you will sometimes see uh, signs like these, or these also might be like a road markers on the ground, which will say the road that you are on. There really isn't too much to talk about when talking about Egypt coverage, because it is very uh, limited, and Generally, it will be like near some famous places, famous areas, the tourists visit. Generally, Egypt will look something like this, with some pyramids or some ruins. You sometimes can see some Arabic as well. Let's move on to Senegal. In Senegal, there is also a, an easy way to tell it apart most of the time. And those are the rifts in the sky. As you can see, we have some rifts. So if you see these rifts in the sky and uh, you also have these uh, Google bars, it's a really, really good indication that you are in Senegal. In Senegal, we will also have these uh, blue license plates, as you can see here. And uh, the nature will mostly look kind of arid, as you can see, with some greenery around as well. Uh, you will often uh, see these uh, kind of French-style poles as well, and sometimes you will find some French-style bollards too. And I also wanted to show you this location in Dakar. In Dakar, lots of the times you will have no rifts in the sky. I feel like many people might not know this, but in Dakar, most of the time you have no rifts, uh, but you still have these Google bars. So if you have this looking car with no tape, we'll talk about tape in a second. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Senegal. Oh, and a quick note that in Senegal, they mostly speak French. Speaking of tape, we have arrived in Ghana. In Ghana, the Google car will have this tape on the bars. So that's a very easy way to tell it apart from other countries. So if you have this tape on the front bar of the car, it will be Ghana. Also, in Ghana, you will see lots of these taxis with uh, these yellow parts. As you can see, they are all over the place here. That's another clue that you are in Ghana. In Ghana, there can be both white and yellow license plates, and the main language you will see is English. The next country on our list is Nigeria. As you can see, in Nigeria, the coverage is very limited, so there's no, there's no point in guessing somewhere around here, because there's no possible coverage up there. So yeah, it can be somewhere around the southern part of Nigeria. So let's have a look. What do we have here? So in Nigeria, you will see a lot of these uh, tuk-tuks, or, or rickshaws, or whatever you call it. In Nigeria, you will often have multiple uh, different follow cars as well. This, this, uh, in this location, we have this uh, silver Toyota following us. And also, a very common thing in Nigeria is that you will often see either Google car bars, or even more common than that is this semi-wide blur, which is a little bit wider than usual. And as you can see, uh, these bars have been blurred out, so you don't see it, but in the result, the blur is a little bit wider. So that's a, that is a good clue how to tell Nigeria apart. 
And this is the second location I wanted to show you guys in Nigeria where the Google car bars are visible. And as you can see, they also kind of have these black and yellow stripes. That's also a good indication that you are in Nigeria if you see those. And as you can see, we have a different uh, follow car this time. This time, a police car is following us. Also, a good thing to note that in Nigeria, you will often be able to see a green tint to the license plate. So if you see like license plates which are a little bit greenish, you might be in Nigeria as well. Let's move on to Uganda. As you can see, Uganda has also very, very limited coverage, basically in Kampala and some national parks around the country. Uh, so the typical Ugandan car will look like this. We will have these visible side mirrors and uh, yeah, everything else is blurred. So this is the typical Ugandan car. Let's have a look around. In Uganda, you will have uh, yellow back plates and white front plates, both the same size. That's useful to know because in uh, Kenya, they will be a little bit different. All the countries up to this point were driving on the right side of the road. However, Uganda drives on the left side. Also in Uganda, you will often see these uh, cars with these blue rectangles on them. That's a good clue. And uh, the language you will see around is English. In Uganda national parks, the car can be different and sometimes you might not see it at all as well. So in general, in African national parks, the cars will be different from the uh, main coverage. So keep that in mind. I might not, I might not show some, some national park coverage in this video, but yeah, in national parks, there might be some weird ones. And this is another famous location from Uganda. Uh, this guy with a rifle uh, guarding us. Uh, this is also a national park in Uganda located right here in the very eastern part of the country. Let's go to Kenya now. Kenya has mostly coverage in the southern part of the country, as you can see, with some, some small coverages here and there in some national parks again. So let's see how, what's happening in Kenya. In Kenya, you can get mostly two different types of cars. Uh, this is the first one with this uh, side mirror on the left side. When you see the side mirror, you are in Kenya. Uh, speaking about license plates, in Kenya, you will have these uh, smaller, like uh, shorter, more narrow uh, rear plates. They will also be yellow, the same as Uganda. However, these plates are more narrow. That's a good way to distinguish them apart if you are hiding the car, for example. The front plates will be wide and uh, white, as you can see here in the distance. In Kenya, we are also driving on the left side and we can often see these cars with these uh, yellow dashes on them. Another very typical Kenyan Google car is this one with a snorkel on the right side. If you see this car, you are for sure in Kenya. Again, an example of the license plates a smaller rear plate and a wider front plate. And also in uh, Kenya, you will often see uh, another car following you, another follow car, which many people don't know, but there is also a follow car in Kenya. And also in Kenya, you can get some coverage in national parks. This is probably a car that many of you have seen in Battle Royale. This is a national park in Kenya that is located right here. So if you get it in like distance Battle Royale, you know exactly where to guess. Many people don't know this, but you can get some very limited coverage in Tanzania as well. A few of the national parks have been covered. For example, the Mount Kilimanjaro National Park. If you get some locations looking similar to this one, you might be in uh, Tanzania. Very beautiful views. I feel like it's very distinguishable as well. And another national park that has been covered is on the east side here, which basically looks like you are going through some, some grass. Also very mountainous, that's a good clue. And there is also some coverage in this lake where you are basically on a boat. Let's now explore the southern part of Africa and let's start with Botswana. So uh, I still sometimes mix these southern uh, African countries apart because sometimes they're super similar, but let's see what differences can we notice. So in Botswana, uh, this is Botswana. In Botswana, you sometimes will notice these uh, black and yellow poles. They are, as far as I know, only in Botswana, at least in this part of the world. So that's a good clue. Also, you will sometimes see these uh, blue signs. I think, uh, as far as I know, they are in Lesotho and Botswana. I think. It, it, let me know in the comments if I am mistaken, but I've only seen them in Lesotho and Botswana. Uh, we are driving on the left side again. Uh, the 
rear plates will be yellow, the front plates will be white. It's hard to see, but uh, the front plates are white. The Google car in all of these four Southern African countries, in Botswana, South Africa, Lesotho and Eswatini, you will get either a white car or the car will not be visible. So either one. This is another very typical Botswanese location. It lo basically looks very dry and uh, very flat as well. Although sometimes you can see some hills as well. The road lines that are in all of the Southern African countries, in South Africa, Botswana, Eswatini and Lesotho, you will get these yellow lines, yellow side lines and white line in the middle. The, uh, there can be multiple lines in the middle as well, but the side lines will be yellow. Let's move on to South Africa. Let's start with this location. This is generation 2 camera. If you don't know cameras, uh, what, what that means, I will leave an info card up there. Uh, go and check out that video, a short video where I explain camera generations. So this is generation 2 camera with this uh, wide, wide blur circular blur or in the sky as well. In Africa, only South Africa can have Generation 2 coverage. So that's very good to know. If you see Generation 2 coverage in Africa, you are in South Africa. Road signs look like this and sometimes you will see some words that feel very Dutch. That's a good clue that you are in South Africa as well because in Afrikaans, Afrikaans is quite similar to Dutch. So in this location we have some traffic lights in uh, South Africa and Botswana as well. You can often see these uh, yellow traffic lights, these yellow poles. In Botswana they sometimes be will uh, sometimes will be black and yellow. So that might be a, di a difference. The license plates will be uh, white, mostly white in both uh, rear and front. Driving on the left side, all of the southern part of Africa drives on the left side except Madagascar. And the car is not visible, as you can see, sometimes we will not see the car. Here is another rural location, guys, and uh, this time the central lines are different. Sometimes they will be all white, and the central one might be dashed as well. And this roadside marker next to the road is also a good way telling which road you are on in South Africa. Sometimes in South Africa you will get locations like these with some very, very nice houses, and people might struggle to tell them apart from Australian locations sometimes. Uh, a good clue is that in South Africa, you will get lots of fences, high security. Uh, you will often see some uh, of the security posters on walls uh, as well. Some stickers with security firm names. That's a good clue that you are in South Africa and not Australia. Let's now move on to Lesotho. Lesotho and Eswatini are countries that many people struggle telling apart. So let's see what are the differences. In Lesotho... What do you will see? Generally, locations like these. Uh, both both of the countries are mountainous. However, in Sutu, there are way, way less trees. As you can see, in this location, there are almost no trees at all. Uh, very, like, bare mountains. Sometimes they can be also very rocky. You can see some rocks as well. In Lesotho, we are also driving on the left side, and the license plates will be white with either blue or red uh, text on them. It's uh, usually difficult to tell. Well, I think this one is like blue on white. You can might see the tint. Again, like rocky mountains, not too many trees around. There are some, but not too many. Let's now go to Eswatini. Let's see how Eswatini looks. What are the differences? So this, guys, is Eswatini. Again, uh, quite mountainous. However, way, way more trees, as you can see. In Eswatini you will get more trees, and another clue is that long grass. If you see some long grass, it's also a good clue that you might be in Eswatini. As you might have already noticed, in Eswatini we are driving on the left side of the road, and the license plates will be white with some uh, color tint to it. The rear plates will be narrow, and the front plates will be wider. And the last place I want to talk about today is Madagascar. It was recently added to the Battle Royale, so these locations might come in handy. As you can see, the coverage is very limited, only a few spots here and there are covered. But uh, these spots have different uh, metas, different Google cars, different Google boats, as you will see. So uh, this might come in handy. So let's have a look what uh, what is possible, what locations you can get in Madagascar. Very beautiful location in the middle of nowhere, very beautiful mountains. So this is one location you get. You can get in Madagascar on the west coast, you can get some sailboat coverage as well. So if you're on a sailboat, you might be around here. What is this? We uh, Here, 
<laughs> Google car is being dragged by some bulls or, or some other animals, I'm not sure. So, yeah, you can get coverage like this in Madagascar as well. Uh, here we have some guy pushing the Google camera as well. Also Madagascar. As I, as I told you guys, very diverse coverage. Here we have some coverage on a beach. Very beautiful beach, some palm trees. I'm not sure how can you tell it apart from other beaches, except maybe that the water is to our like west and the sun is to the north. The next coverage is in the avenue of the Baobabs. Amazing location with these huge, huge Baobab trees. If you see these ones, uh, you are in Madagascar as well, right here, right here in the avenue of uh, the Baobabs. You can also get this car in the uh, Madagascar on this particular road, RN8. That's the road where you can get this Google car. Again, probably not worth remembering the road number, but uh, if you're playing Distance Battle Royale, might come in handy, I guess. Uh, here we have in Antananarivo, the capital of Madagascar, we have some trekker coverage. A guy with the uh, camera has walked uh, through some mountains and covered some of the city that you can see. Uh, that's another location. Here on the west coast we have some boat coverage again. And in the north we have a few locations as well. Uh, the city of Ambanja. Ambanja. Ambanja is covered as well with some trekker views. I'm just showing so you can get some... Uh, some glance of what's possible in Madagascar. And also this small island, very mountainous, basically going through the jungle. But in the distance you can see some uh, water, so that's a good clue. If you have some tips for Africa of your own, leave them in the comments below and I will be happy to read them and respond as well. Another tip video will appear on your screen shortly. Huge thanks to all of the members for supporting this channel. If you want to become a member and get early access to all of my videos, click that join button below this video. I hope you have a wonderful day, be kind to one another and see you in the next video.